So, okay, so, so I there's, think there's a video. Can, yeah, so I think we can start now. So yeah. Faisal, if you would like to uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, how hey. are you? Good morning. Good morning. Okay, uh, morning. 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 My name is Faisal, you know my name already. And uh, I do build in this building design and permit. Any, any type of permit you need related to your building, your house. So How it's from, an well, I'm an architect from back home, but I haven't got my license yet. I'm working on it. I'm working on uh, Hi there. This the angel as well. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, sorry. So Sorry? I think that was someone talking in the oh, okay. background, okay. but I'm, yeah, I'm just, oops, I'm, I'm just muting some people. <laughs> there we go. So I'm working on my uh, pins as well. And I have been four or five pins, professional engineer in my team that we are, we are working together. And do you want to tell actually people, I don't know if everyone knows what a PNG is. Uh, okay, professional engineer. I mean, mm -hmm. who can like, so they're the ones that give the stamp yeah, on the stamp, uh, Yes, yeah. Who, who, who gives the stamp on every drawing, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I, I like do permit design and drawing permit for any, any sort of renovation, basement, legal basement. You want to change anything inside house or outside. You want to do addition. You want to build a new house. Uh, you want to build a deck. You want to build the top up the second floor anything you want to do you need you know that you need permit anything related to permit um i, I can help them that i do it mm -hmm. yeah okay Just great it, thank you it's simple <laughs> <laughs> yeah simple simple yeah. and uh, and yeah so i guess you kind of answered a little bit of the first question my first question was going to be like what kind of permits um what kind of like what what do you need permits for Let's say, let's start with a house because I think, or or is it difference between a house and a, let's say a building? I think it's all the same, right? Yeah, all the same. I mean, building means house and commercial both. But if you, like, you can, you can just name it with house and commercial. So yeah, go ahead. I mean, what is our problem? Sorry, mm -hmm. can I ask a question? Sure, yeah, please. go ahead. Yeah, sorry, I might have, I, I came on maybe uh, one or two minutes late. I might have missed it, but I'm just wondering whereabouts are you? Are like where are you located? Um, oh, sorry, yeah, I'm uh, uh, Scarborough, Toronto. We're in Scarborough, Toronto. Okay, because yeah. I know um, I know permits. Different municipalities have different rules, and like they all have different requirements, right? No, the thing is, in in Ontario, it's same. But the city-wise, municipality-wise, the process is different. Let's say in Toronto, I can submit the drawing in a way. And in Mississauga, in Hamilton, I just submitted one in Hamilton. And like, it's different. That's how you're submitting, how you're preparing the document. But the basic thing is code is zoning and code is same. Zoning is different. City-wise, zoning is different, but the building code is everywhere the same. The reviewing process, the like permit process, everywhere is the same. Okay. And um, so I guess I guess a good question to start with then is, what is the process, I guess? Uh, like say, let's say for you, like if someone calls you to get a permit, um, you know, what is the process that you take? Okay, it, it depends on uh, what type of permit. For example, if you are looking for a new house, custom house, and you have a lot, have a house there, you want to demolish, build a, build a new house. In that case, <clears throat> we need survey. First, we need survey. And when the survey got, surveyor is uh, doing his work, doing the survey, usually they take a few weeks to give you that first survey, topographic survey, call it. During that time, we work on the design process. We work, we, we start the designing, how designing the house, the floor plan, how the floor plan, what you need in the basement, what you need in the main floor, second floor, how you want to see your house, how, what is the outlook. Then we, we figure out this design. Then when you get the survey, 
we uh, prepare the drawings put together it's around 30 30 35 feet of drawings piece of drawings then we uh, submit then it uh, for zoning then it come back and <clears throat> with comments we address there are a little bit process it it may sound um, like complicated but i mean as let's say you are uh, owner you are the builder don't need to take the headache for, uh, of this complication it's a little bit complicated but we take care of this then we submit for zoning it comes back we address the comment and there if we know that we are going out of the zoning out of the limit then we go for minor variance say it's called committee of adjustment there is a hearing there like everybody's the old city people are sitting there the audience behind and present yourself that and you defend yourself that, that uh, why you are going beyond the limit beyond the beyond the zoning limit for an example in the zoning it says you, you are allowed to use 33 percent of the land but you want a bigger house your client wants a bigger house you are doing 50 percent you're taking 50 percent of the land so <clears throat> that is a variance so you need to uh, satisfy convince them that the uh, why you want 50 percent land cover instead of 33 percent then you, you, you and then you get it normally we get all that 100 percent time to get up well and we we go back to the city again then they review they come back they review the uh, building code then they get this is a little bit of process it takes normally i, don't, I maybe i'm uh, answering many questions from the other <laughs> so it, it takes uh, normally uh, four months if we don't go for minor variance that committee of adjustment but if we go for the hearing it takes let's say six months but this i'm talking about brand new houses yeah this is like a house from scratch exactly but yeah. for an example you are doing a basement for legal basement small quick permit it, it takes um, uh, up to uh, one month the process is we go there we take the measurement prepare the existing floor plans and we prepare the proposed floor plans and we submit it's very quick it's quick quicker than of course it's very quick than a uh, quicker than brand new. okay and like let's say for example um for someone who's let's say doing an addition does does um that would that fall under the month or like if you're doing let's say an adding a, another floor it would that take, be like a month or that may be a more, little bit more, longer more more yeah what it, do you ask it may take you three months four months oh yeah yeah okay because this addition is they want more way more details than brand they want to see everything what you have there because you're building another house, you're putting another floor load on an existing, let's say, 50 years old uh, bungalow, right? 60 mm -hmm. years old bungalow. So you're putting another, adding another floor. So they want to know many things than the normal, like brand new house. Oh, okay. So does anyone have any questions? Hi. Hello. Hi, oh, go ahead. Hi, it's Susan. Sorry, I don't have my camera on, but we're just in the middle of work. I'll have it on That's soon. Um, so I have a house in Toronto, and it's a two-bedroom. And I was thinking it might be worthwhile just to add, like, an additional bedroom, like an actual addition from, like, a three-bedroom to a two, like, a two-bedroom to a three-bedroom, uh, like, just a standard size. It, it, is it too much of a general question to ask how much something like that would cost? You mean the construction wise? Yes. Or permit wise, permit wise, because that's technical. Yeah, well, area. construction <laughs> wise, it depends. It depends uh, like how we are doing the edition, right? How we are adding that one room. It is, I'm, I mean, it's very difficult to uh, like answer this question very like a uh, straight way because are you at doing the addition the rear are the you rear. Rear, yeah, okay. 
The, are here. you adding the basement? Are you no? Like, no. So <clears throat> it's difficult, really. Because <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> it's difficult to answer the like a, the cost, but if you construction cost, but you have to keep in mind roughly, it it would be fifteen percent plus minus should be around two hundred minimum two hundred square feet. But for this type of small addition, normally builders they won't uh, do it square feet wise. They will give you a lump sum price. Gotcha. For brand new house or for the full house edition, like you are topping up one floor, they can give you uh, square feet wise, area wise, like mm -hmm. construction cost. But for this type of uh, small edition, it's difficult to give you price right away because you need to see see the drawing. Mm -hmm. there, there's so many things that's related because how they need to build. For an example. The access to our, towards the rear, uh, like backyard, is difficult, right? They have to transport the, like take the materials manually. So they will add the cost. I'm just giving an example. That is also a, an a issue that they, they can, they will ask, the, they will ask the cost, right? No problem. Thank you so much. Yeah, sorry about that. I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. I thought, you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's good to try to ask. Maybe yeah, no, that's, that's fine. That's fine. But uh, if I if I can see the drawing, if I can uh, if I know exactly what you'll be doing, then I can probably help you to your price. Okay, thank that's, you. That's, yeah. Okay. Further. So I think Marco had a question. Uh, First, her and then. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, I, I'm okay. So I'm talking about uh, a basement renovation okay. where um, it's finished, but we're. Um, taking everything down and putting in uh, a legal basement. I'm just wondering, while we're waiting for the permit, so let's say we have our drawings and everything, while before we get the permit, like how much work can we do before we actually get approval on the permit? Can we like start demoing, start like, you, you, you don't understand my question. <laughs> what, what can I do? Okay, okay. <laughs> Anybody recording this? <laughs> it's becoming official. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is this is off the record. No, the public doesn't yeah, have access yeah, to yeah, this. Don't record it. <laughs> okay, I see a lot, right? I see a lot when we submit the drawings. Then, before it comes, the work almost done. But I can tell you, we do it. I can I cannot tell you that you, you do the same, but what I see many times and that I'm saying when I think uh, Deborah you didn't get it, did you? Can you hear me, Deborah? Marco? Uh, she's she's muted. Hold on. Okay. Uh, she, yeah. yeah, there you go. Yes, I, okay. I can, so what I I'm can saying, I have seen many people that when we submitted the drawings, mm -hmm. they have started working on it, and they almost done before it. Uh, it uh, like you get the permit. Now, what they do, they leave the wall open. You don't close the wall. You leave all the framing exposed, right? Don't cover up anything. Because when you get the permit, then you have to call the inspector to come and see the structure, the plumbing, the HVAC, everything. So if somebody does it, they don't cover anything. Okay. So, um, so you're saying then that if you started, you took down the walls and you put up the framing, but you didn't cover it and you waited for the inspector, uh, you really shouldn't, but you're saying that they would allow that in most cases because they can see everything that's like, it's not covered up. That's kind of, you can get away with that. Okay. It's, there is a gray area. I mean, they, they <clears throat> that's, I'm telling you what I've seen, right? I'm not saying you do it, okay? <laughs> okay. okay, no, no, then you're not advising me, you're just telling me what exactly. you're Exactly, I'm not saying anything, I'm just right. I got it. my I experience, got it. okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> when the inspector comes, they mm -hmm. see that work is done, right? But they don't say anything, okay? Because they can see what they have done. Right. They can see what they need to see. Right. So if you do, if they do in that way, 
it goes like it flies. Okay. Right. But I never seen that they are asking. You just received the permit one week ago. How come everything is done? Right. It's not there. Even the no, most probably they can they understand that how much work you can do in mm -hmm. week, but still, it, it, they don't really uh, worry about th that too much because as long as you are doing in the proper way, right, doing according to the permit drawing, right, they will be happy. They, right, they, they have, yeah, because there's because so, as long as you're following, I, I I hear you. As long as you're following the permit, there's really and they can see the work. There's nothing really that they can say you're doing incorrectly exactly. i mean you might, exactly. you might have started it when you weren't supposed to but you're not doing exactly. anything incorrectly i got it exactly yeah thank you so uh, Fizel, i have another yes. question sure. um you know how you were we were talking earlier and you said um you know the municipalities have different local bylaws or rules we'll call yeah. it and processes might be a little bit different yeah. but but i think you were trying to make a point that it's all to ontario building code i think that's right. what you were saying was was a constant but right. that being the constant but all anything else anything else that's related to getting a permit is all municipal it's all driven by municipal rules so i was just curious like bylaws and stuff i was just curious what which municipalities have you worked with in the past i've worked with uh front of course pickering hamilton oshawa ajax milton I have all over the place. Brother. How about Brantford? Brantford, no. How about uh, St. Catharines? St. Catharines, no. Okay. I, okay. I just hear St. Catharines is um, like they have slightly different rules, um, which make it a little bit more challenging to uh, not to get the permit, but uh in order to design the design it. you have to make so much percentage uh common space for upstairs and downstairs so you have to be able to design that accordingly and then apparently they say then they uh you you kind of build it so that you can dismantle it really quickly this is just so so they come in they see there's the common area i forgot the percentage now uh, whatever that percentage was uh was relatively large and then and then after you get the pass then you're you you basically go back in and, and then you kind of take you, you kind of put it back to where you want it even though it technically it may not i don't know it's just st catherine's is a little bit no different. no it's everywhere we're not, we're not doing that but we're asking really? we're not doing that but we're just asking okay no no it's uh marco everywhere is same what you said in st catherine have in toronto we have night the same thing in Niagara, everywhere. Everywhere the zoning is like they have zoning by law, and in every uh, municipality, they will tell you, okay, you can build this much, this 33%, 3%. Your setback will be this much, your side year setback will be this much, your rear year setback, front year setback. You cannot do this, you cannot do that. Everywhere is same. Hundreds of hundreds of zoning by law. But still we are building with planning every ten houses. Every day getting permits. It depends on what you are doing there and what you want. The, as I said, if you remember at the beginning, I was telling you about normative of adjustment hearing. The zoning by law is applying allowing build up uh, take the lot coverage thirty three percent, but you want a bigger house, you want fifty percent can do it you can do almost whatever you want not 100 percent, but almost whatever you want then you have to go to the next step which is committee of adjustment the same everywhere you have to go to the committee of the, not you i mean we go i go every time committee of adjustment face defend let's say you are going beyond the limit 10 items you are violating the setback you are violating the lot coverage you are violating the total area, you are violating the height. Whatever you do, we go there and we defend and we get them. Even sometimes you will find your neighbor friend, they are there and uh, they are against your new house. They don't want you to build a big house, 
because they will get shadow they cannot see trees they cannot see sun there's so many funny like uh, reasons they come up with neighbors especially three four five neighbors i've seen many times coming five neighbors together that they want to protest your house they don't want a big house there because they have been there for the last 35 years and uh, all the houses are one one story bungalow and uh, they will not feel good that's the reason that they will not feel good. but anyway it doesn't fly so i mean they can say whatever they like but actually if it is not a uh, very logical reason uh, whoever protests it doesn't work so we get the permit Okay, Faisal, yeah. like you said, for the minor variances, so if somebody would like to go for the zone changing, like uh, R3, uh, R375 zone to R2 zone or some other zone, yeah. uh, where it, it, instead of a single family home, we are trying to get a, a, a semi-detached home. Right. So what are the procedure for that and how much does that, I mean, in terms of uh, money-wise? How much is the fees associated to that? Okay, so for this uh, type of when you are uh, changing the zone, mm -hmm. it's pretty much same. Mm -hmm. Like you have to apply for zoning review first, then you have to apply for right away after the zoning review, <clears throat> you have to apply for committee of adjustment. Then we go there, and they will before you appear in the hearing, to mm -hmm. the committee of planning guys start corresponding with you. they will try to negotiate they will try to <clears throat> they will try to, uh, they will tell you okay we'll give you you do this you do that you reduce the house you reduce then you have to negotiate before you go to the appear in the hearing you have to negotiate and that we do we negotiate and we get we try our best to get as much as our client wants then we appear the uh, hearing and it gets done in five minutes ten minutes so this process is same you can do it i mean if, if the zoning is saying is <clears throat> a single dwelling house but also you have to we do a reference like we take the areas we get the we um, like pull up the records from the city we get the previous uh, drawings from the neighbors and we show the reference that okay you have given the semi data two semi data permit after 10 five lots in that community on that road or road behind us right so you have to give us it's not um, we are not alien here because we have given already two three permits even one permit so we can we can we want that okay suppose if there is no permit on that same road and you still are still you can get it because somebody has to start right okay and is, so for the minor variance and for joining uh, zone changing in both yeah. the cases we need to go to the committee of adjustment yes right? yeah. and time is about the same like four to six months or there's a difference between the timing no i, I mean it yeah you have to when you are going to committee of adjustment you have to keep in your mind you have to be prepared for longer time and is there any uh, uh, fees differences between oh, the yes parties? yes sorry yeah you asked about that fees there is a fee for formative adjustment mm -hmm. it depends on the size of the project it depends on the what you are doing what you're asking for usually for brand new houses they uh, is let's say <clears throat> two to four thousand dollars okay and for zone changing no, it's, you are not doing all the zone, zoning uh, change you are doing the whole thing Mm -hmm. This zoning change is related to like when you are applying for zoning change, you are uh, doing the variance of it. Mm -hmm. is they will do it together. They will not do the first zoning change because submit the drawings and everything, the full set of drawings. Mm -hmm. So whatever the variances we have in the drawings, it gets approved, uh, get the approval altogether, okay. including the lot severance, because you are making two lot sections. Right? You mm -hmm. have a, you have one lot. You are making it two, mm -hmm. two uh, semi-detached houses. So it means you are dividing the lot, severing the lot. Mm -hmm. So it comes all together. Okay. 